Hey guys, it's Jace though, and I actually had this box of Battle Pack 3 for like two years now from Christmas, so I figured I might as well open it. So let's go in right into it. So what I'm looking for mostly is just staples. So I'm not sure really what staples are in this set, what's worth it in this set. Well, I know it's a pretty low value set from when I got it, so I'm not really expecting much. But we'll just have to see what happens. So let's get rid of that nice Konami wrap. And then let's open up the box. And we have all our packs. So let's try to get this open. Alright, so pack number one. How many packs are in this? 36 packs, so like Magic Gathering. Alright, so that's pretty cool. So our first pack. We have Book of Eclipse. Fusion Sword and Marsunami Blade. Our rare is that, what is it? Metal? Metablo Shark? The Herald of Orange Light? And Submarine Roid? Yeah, we're gonna have a lot of garbage, that's for sure. Alright, next we have Butterfly Yoke, Dark Blade Disc Blade Rider, uh, some Trident Dude, I can't read the name, Swap Mirror, and Jerry Bean Man. Of course, we gotta get as many Jerry Beans man as possible. Oh, here's an interesting card. Raging Mad Plants. Mythical Beast Cerebus. Uh, Genix Ally Bellflame. Polonus. And Tackle Crusader. So, so far, nothing special. But we'll have to see. I know there's like five reprints in here that are good, like Mermel Abyss Megalo, something like that. Toon Gemini Elf, that's an old card. Uh, Master Craftsman Gamut, and Shutton Doji. I remember that used to be a good card for zombies. Once again, I haven't played Yu-Gi-Oh in a while because my brother refuses to play it because it's too complicated. <laughs> kind of is complicated compared to Magic the Gathering. Uh, we got Vampire Koala. Oh, Dark Bride, there you go. So that's a nice staple like card. So that's pretty cool. So as I was saying, yeah, we don't have... I haven't played it in a long time. I do have a Locals nearby, but I've never gone to it for Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't know the community for Yu-Gi-Oh as far as on where I... Oh, Quantum Cat. As far as where I live is not really the best. So I'll have to see how that goes. If I ever go to one. I remember going for Magic the Gathering and it was basically meta players where they played the thousand dollar decks just to win a sixty dollar prize pool. <laughs> so it was pretty crazy. Uh, Fusion Sword, we got Medora, Typhoon. I remember there was a lot of hype with this card, I think, Typhoon, when it first came out. Alright, next pack. Ah, Wonder Wand. Wonder Wand, that's a pretty good one. Uh, Evil Swarm Ketos. Uh, another Evil Swarm. Evil Swarm. Oh, wait. Evil Swarm cut those again. In rare. Oh, so you can get the same card twice. That's pretty interesting. Alright, next pack. I should probably put my garbage can nearby. Just so, you know, packs don't get in the way. Pack wrappers. Earthquake. Spellbook of Wisdom. That's a pretty cool one. Uh, Fencing Fire Ferret. I do like this card because of its ability. It's pretty cool. Recycling Batteries. I remember that one used in, uh... The Hunter's deck with the Bro Hunter, Sis Hunter, etc. It's a really good card in that deck. Next we have Mask of Brutality. Hey, number 10 Illuminite. That's interesting. Got XYZ. Uh, Black Braccios. Regeki Bottle. And Hyper Hammerhead. Alright, let's go through this. Alright, so we got. Chaos Burst, Intrigue Shield, Night Day Griff Griffier, I think that's what it says, Call of the Lanteans, and Defender and Magical Knight. Alright, that's pretty interesting. Alright, I'm gonna throw all of these in the garbage. I'm actually gonna bring the garbage right next to me so we can get that out of the way. Alright, next pack. Oh, here's a staple. Not really the best stable, but Forbidden Dress used to be used a lot. Raging Mad Plants, Kokumaru Guardians, I do like the Kokumarus, Psychic Overlord, and Freya Spirit of Victory. I'm kind of annoyed this got reprinted because I had the Secret Rare version, 
So now the super rare version isn't worth that much. <laughs> I was like, damn, they reprinted it. That's another thing in Yu-Gi-Oh! They reprint absolutely everything. Uh, Magicians Unite, Fire Ferrets, oh, uh, Goblin Lead Attack Force. I think I have this in Ultimate Rare. Machine Assembly Line and Frontier Wise Men. Wow, that, that is an old card. Alright, next pack. Oh, here's a cool one. Unbreakable Spirit. That's pretty cool. Uh, God in the Temple of Death. Uh, Leotar. Mark of the Rose. And Seed of Flame. Alright, next pack. Hoping for another Abyss Megalo. Why not? Uh, Noble Arms card, Book of Eclipse, Flame Tiger, Psychic Reactor, and Evil a uh, Evil Hero. Alright, trying to get this one open. Alright, we've got Bound One, uh, Poseidon Wave, some Beetle Dude, Tutan Mask, and Gyroid. So yeah, as I said, this set doesn't really have any really good cards in it. I did get it for cheap. I got it. I think I got this box for 25 bucks, something like that. So not too bad. Uh, Kokumaru Wall, Mark of the Rose, and Rigorous Weaver. All right, next pack. Uh, we have Fighting Spirits, another Evil Hero, Berserker Gorilla. I remember that card. Telepathic Power. Second Street Pool Patrol. I remember Berserker Gorilla was like so awesome because it had 2,000 attack and it wasn't that many monsters at level 4 that had that much. So I used it quite a few times. We got Ghost from the Pass, Sec Jumper, Corinthian the Mage? Cheerion the Mage. Interesting story about this card. I ended up at Walmart and there was a whole bunch of open packs for some reason at Walmart so I decided to take I started to take a look and there's an ultimate rare of him so I was like, eh, might as well take it. And then when I was showing off my card to the brother to my brother, I got in trouble by my mother because <laughs> the card, what do you call it? She was like, Where'd you get that card? And I was like, Oh, I just happened to find it at Walmart. And, but she was like, We didn't buy any Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And then that's when I was screwed. I was still able to keep the card though. So I guess worth it. Then again I don't recommend stealing Yu-Gi-Oh cards, but that's when I was like ten or something. Forbidden Dress, Card Trooper, that's pretty good. Call of the Mummy. So we're getting down to our last, I think, 10 packs. So, right now, nothing really good. Not even the staples are good in this one. Burst Breath, Lord Poison. Battle Pack War of the Giants 2 is definitely better, and the original Battle Pack. Dawn of something, that's the good stuff. I remember I used to go to Chinatown almost every every weekend to go buy Battle Pack Round 1 or whatever you want to call it. And man, those were the good old days of Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> At least for the XYZ days. Just cracking open Battle Packs left and right, trying to get that tour guide. Uh, what do we have? Metal Morph. Oh, uh, Breaker the Magical Warrior. That's a pretty good card. Damage Gate. That's kind of a staple. So yeah, we used to go to Chinatown all the time for those cards. Uh, oh, Forbidden Scripture. I was another card I was mad about because this card was like just printed and then they reprinted it like in less than, less than I think three months or something like that. It was really quick. Uh, Coco Marrow, Spell Book of Wisdom, and another evil hero. There's also XYZs in this pack, but the chance of getting a XYZ is really low. So far, we only got one. So far. Oh, breakthrough skill! Finally, something of <laughs> something worthwhile. <laughs> I think it's been how long in the video? Nine minutes into the video, and this is like the only card I've stopped on. Usually, when I stop on a card, that means it's pretty good. So, breakthrough skill—that's awesome. I don't know how it is today with all the power creep, but still an awesome card to pull. Uh, what is this? Blue Thunder T5, Stamp and Destruction, and Ghost Trick Jack Frost. I have a lot of Ghost Trick stuff. Now that I think of it. Alright, next packs. Oh, we have Kunai with Chain. I've been watching the anime, so this has been all over the place. <laughs> Night Beam. Night Beam's actually pretty good. Dodge Dragon, another pretty good card. Recycling Batteries. And Sacred Crane. Wow, that was probably the best pack as far as usefulness so far. Yeah, I've been watching the original Yu Gi Oh! anime again. 
This time with subtitles and it's less cringy. But I'm up to the part where before they go to the Battle City finals, so they got that Noah storyline which is really stupid. Hey, pinpoint guard, that's pretty good. Like before they get to the battle tower for the final three duels or something like that. And then they have to go into the digital world and fight other people. Fight the big five in the digital world. It's like it's really stupid. <laughs> Hate Buster, Rush Recklessly. Hey, Jane the Light's one, pal. That's Dweller in the Deaths. That's an interesting card. Alright, so we have, I think, five packs left. I'm kind of guessing right now. Uh, Blast with Chain, Metatable Shark, Mizuki, that's pretty good. Scapegoat and Jungle Perceratops. Let's see, Zero Gravity. Pyramid of Wonders, Crown Len, Chow Len of the Prophet, Book of Life, that's pretty cool. Exploder Dragon, that's another pretty good card. I'm getting a phone call, but it's like I don't want to pick up the phone while I'm in the middle of an opening. Uh, Battlestorm, never heard of that. Shock the Puss. Alright, so we have four packs left. So, unfortunately, nothing. What do we get? Breakthrough skill, and that was about it. <laughs> uh, cool, Romero Doom. Swords of Revealing Light. Alright, there's something. Oh, and Evil Swarm Thunderbird. I remember that was a very sold out the card. When it first came out. Uh, Miracle Locust. I'm surprised that's the first time we got it. This Valley Falcon. This Ride Blader. Miracle's Wake. And Psychic Jumper. Alright. So we're down to the last three packs, I think. Side Station. Uh, Tardy Orc. That's a pretty fun card. Uh, Offering to the Doomed and Magical Undertaker. Alright, last pack. Will we even get an XYZ in this one? <laughs> Who knows? So we got Windstorm with Tsurga. The Tiger, whatever. Lil Tar. Sunlight Unicorn. Memory Loss and Reptilian Gorgon. So unfortunately, as I always say, buy singles and I would avoid this set like the plague because it's pretty bad. Fun for, uh, what do you call it, draft though. These are meant to be for draft, but not many people actually draft in Yu-Gi-Oh! So, it really depends. So thanks for watching as always. Feel free to subscribe for more videos. I don't do that many Yu-Gi-Oh! openings, but if you guys like Magic the Gathering, World of Warcraft, or Hearthstone, then my channel is the place to be. Thanks for watching. Remember, like, hit subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys next time.